Breaking news in the case of a Cleveland teen who went missing nearly two decades ago. The medical examiner's office has confirmed the remains found near the I-90 Jennings Freeway split last week are those of Christina Atkins. Atkins disappeared from an area just blocks from there on West 25th Street back in 1995. Stephanie Ramirez just spoke with Christina's brother and is live on 5 with more tonight. And Lee, Christina Atkins disappeared about 18 years ago. Her family living just blocks away from where she was last seen, haunted for 18 years by the question of what happened to Christina Atkins. Well, they were hoping and praying this would not be the answer, but now that they have one, her brother says he plans to see it through. I'm going to go to court and every pre-hearing or every pre-trial that I can go to of him, Uh, I'm going to watch. I want, I want to see that justice is done. And authorities tell us they've made a DNA match to the next of kin to identify Christina's remains. The family tells us they are now working on funeral arrangements. Live on 5 on Cleveland's West Side, I'm Stephanie Ramirez. And right now, this is exclusive video inside the home where the man now facing charges in Adkins' murder as well as Pamela Penderton's where he once lived. News Channel 5 was the first station allowed inside the home after the contractor working on it told us he found women's underwear inside the walls. Kristen Volk is live on 5 outside the home on Vega Avenue tonight. And Kristen, how were the undergarments found? Well, Danita, that underwear was found right up there in the second floor bedroom. It fell, multiple pairs fell to the floor when they tore open the ceiling yesterday. Elias Acevedo is behind bars. Police say he's responsible for killing Christina Atkins and Pamela Pemberton. Here's the video that we took inside Acevedo's former home today. Contractors found what appeared to be used underwear in the ceiling. They also found a white box of neatly folded underwear hidden up there as well. And that's not all. Contractors say they're also also suspicious of an area in the basement, an uneven area in the basement, where they say it looks to be like a shallow grave. Now, police and FBI were on scene today. We called them after the contractors told us what they found. They, however, could not comment on their investigation. We'll have much more on this developing story throughout the newscast live on 5 in Cleveland. I'm Kristen Volk. All right, thank you very much, Kristen. Well, the Five on Your Side investigators have been digging deeper into Acevedo's former home. And investigator Sarah Buddison is live on Five in the newsroom. Sarah, what'd you learn about this house? Lee, I tracked down and spoke to the home's current owner today. He says he purchased the home on Vega Avenue in 2003. He hired the contractors that Kristen met up with today to fix up the home as a part of a plan to turn the home over to the bank. He says the FBI's search of the home has slowed down repairs. The out-of-state owner says his only renters have been a mother and a daughter. He told me he has no idea who Elias Acevedo is, and he has no idea, had no idea, a box of underwear was hidden in the ceiling. Law enforcement officials have told us Acevedo lived in the house in 1995 when Christina Adkins disappeared, but have not said how long he was staying at that residence. Live on 5, I'm investigator Sarah Buddison, News Channel 5. Thank you, Sarah. As for what's next for Acevedo, he will be arraigned Monday on 293 counts, including murder, rape, kidnapping, and other charges in yesterday's indictment. Acevedo is also expected in court in December when his trial on a separate rape case is set to begin. That case is the one that led investigators to connect him to these latest cases.